Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Young Show. This is your channel. I'm back with another video. And today, guys, I am here with Biface. Now, Biface is like a puzzle game, kind of similar to my Bart Bonte series. I put the I card up here, and it's just a complicated puzzle game to a certain extent. Extent. Oh my God, I can't speak today. Where the person has two phases, hence the name. Um, black and white, and it's very integral to the story, and I wanted to check this out since this was the second game I was actually checking out on Steam besides the little red line and the next one to come up, so let's get into this. By phase. This is a world split by red and black. Oh, I thought it was white and black, or the character's just white, okay. So, W. Okay, do arrow keys work? Yes. WASD works, okay. Okay, now I need to see which one's black, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because it depends on which phase you're in. Okay, okay. I'm trying to remember that. The problem is I'm starting off with black. Let me just do this. Ah, oh, I messed up, didn't I? Oh, I'm floating. Okay. I could just walk if I want to, but I'm going to jump just in case, actually. So I have to go back around. Oh, okay. I'm not doing the arrow keys right. This isn't too hard. Just gotta memorize. A red tidal wave. Or is that a walkway? Oh, I just have to make sure I don't fall into Oh my god, my character's just no, never mind. That's not me. I thought that's my character. I mean that vice versa. Oh my god, I can't speak today. Uh, look at the little logo, by phase. <sighs> by phase. The game about red and black. So the thing that actually interested me in this game is the backstory game, which I will read at the end of the video. But, uh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, I'm supposed to just walk? No. What am I supposed to do? Are is this is are these the levels? Hold on. Okay, I think it is levels. Okay, I got confused. Crossroads. Oh my god. The developers are shady for that. Okay, so Okay, the red, they drop to the bottom, so how am I supposed to do this? Right here? Okay, red. I can't exactly go because I jump. Ooh, no. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 oh god. And I can't just automatically jump it, can't I? There's nothing in this middle piece. Wait, I could possibly make it, actually. Just need to jump, maybe. Red's gonna be right here, so I can't jump. Red's gonna be right here. <sighs> what does this do? Does this give me a hint or something? Or should I exit the game, because I can't tell? Because uh, I don't want to use a hint, even though it's just, like, the first level, which is, like, wow. Wait, oh, yeah, I jump up here. Oh, okay. Yay, I made it. Okay, I forgot this was a small piece I could jump over. Turning her back on the crowd, she entered the rugged, briscated road. I couldn't exactly read that. I'm gonna drop. And then red. Black. Red. Oh, okay. 
I keep on forgetting that if I jump too much, it's gonna switch. I need to get up here somewhere, somehow. But there's no black. <sighs> A little black piece. This is too high, isn't it? Yeah, too high. Let's see. Which one can I jump? I could jump this one, obviously. Oh, how did I just make it? I have to press E? What? 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 Yo, wait, 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 whoa. What? Wait. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. I see it, I see it, I see it. I, see it. I just did it, but it just says press E. What? Oh, my God. I just did it. What the heck? Oh my god. I just did it. It says press E. What the heck? Oh my. There I go. Press E this time. Thank you. So this is why this top part is needed. But I can't make that top part. Oh. That's why I jumped down here. Oh, every time I jump, it moves. Okay, that's not the same. Okay, nice. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Okay, this game is pretty simple. If you think long and hard about it. Let me leave it like that, so when I jump, okay. Oh, wait, 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 I did it wrong. Right here, right here. Oh, but when I when it turns red, it disappears. Nice. Okay. So level three. Santa looks like there's ten levels. Wait, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why is there nine? Because there's four right here, five. Yeah, that's nine levels, so. Well, I'll do. F I don't know. Should I do four or five levels? I don't know. I might just do five, depending. Uh, okay. And I just get in there? Okay. Oh, oh, Kobe in the free, bro. That was probably the easiest level. And I get trapped, or what happens? Ah, so this is a part two, okay. I actually need to go down here, so that was... Ooh, what's this right here? Wait, wait. Oh, it rotates. So if I jump. Oh, no, it's too okay, it's okay. I need to make it longer. I need to I need to make it longer. Okay. Oh oh my god <gasps> What? I pressed W oh my god. I know I can't jump midair, but come on now. I have to reset it, okay. This isn't the worst reset, came in line. I have to wait till I'm on this platform, go up here, jump, yada yada yada. Now, I need to make sure I'm jumping correctly. Ooh, wait. It just rotates, let's make it longer, wait. And there's a platform right here. I just look like when it's red, though. That's the problem. <gasps> oh, oh my god, I keep doing the same mistake.
tend to make the red side shorter. I make it just longer. Yo, perfecting these jumps is key. <sighs> Finally. That actually took me that actually took me forever because I had um jumping problems. Yeah. It wasn't too hard to think about just the jumping got me upset on this level. Well, the other level, but, yeah. So, finally, I'm on level 4. I'm gonna stop at level 5, but... That, kind of, that, that jumping thing, I have to watch out for. Oh, so it's... Oh, it's... Ooh. Yeah. Oh, so I need to time it. But when I timed it, I had to raise it up somehow. Ooh. That's gonna suck. Let me just test out a jump from right here. Oh, I forgot. Okay, for when the color switch. Yeah, it doesn't pop up during the color switch. That sucks. So that means I have to jump like this. Oh, it's not even that hard, but I have to wait till. Oh, finally, I can stand on the circle. Oh, okay, yeah. I need. I want to see if I can do it upwards, because if I can do it upwards, it'll make my life so much easier. So let's see. That's not going to help me, isn't it? So I have to do it side. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, I, f I forgot. There's a black part right here so I could jump. Okay, so it's just about timing. It's not even that hard. Oh, it was retracting. Okay. Okay. Let's push back. This is coming out. When this push backs, this is coming out. Okay. I'm just making sense out of nonsense right now. This is like the second easiest level, maybe? I don't know how the first one was like near the hardest. Okay. I got too impatient. I was just trying to see the timing. Oh my god, I just realized I do need to rotate it because if I'm dependent If I'm more dependent on this side, then I can finally do it. Don't I? Let me test it out Oh, it's not rotated I just realized that Okay, so the switch is somewhat useful So now I'm dependent on the black side Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I get it now. Because I understood the pattern, I just had to switch it. Okay. Is this stage 5 or is this still stage 4? Because I can't tell if I'm switching stages or not. So, it's not even too hard. It depends on dominance, though. So, I can't make that high jump. Something confirmed. So, I need to go on this side if it's going to be like that. Because, watch this. Wait, no, the game knows what it's doing. They made this hard on purpose. So I can't just immediately jump. So what if I jump on a red... Well, it doesn't matter. It's still gonna switch. Yes, it... No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Wait. Oh, okay. I realized it does depend on which side you jump on so you can manipulate it. Okay, that was easy. The other one was easy too. It's just... I wasn't thinking too much. You know, the graphics are really trippy. <sighs> Finally, I'm on level 5. This will be the last level for this episode. I will make a part 2 to finish this game. But, it's called a maze. Oh, I can't make that. Uh, I keep on forgetting I can't make high jumps. It's not even too hard. 
Yo. Okay, right here. And then right here. Ah, yes. I could imagine something like this from this game. It's not that easy. Uh, move out the way so I could get over here somehow. So I need to look for the disappearing bottom ones when I'm trying to jump. Disappearing bottom. Yay. Yo, pills? Are you trying to symbolize that this is like a drug? Um, I forgot what it's called. A drug. Oh my god. I can't think, speak, or see today. Wow. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn notifications for parts 6 through 9. Possibly 10, actually, because I'm trying to see if there's a 10. 7, 8. I wish there was a part 10, so it wouldn't just be 1 through 9. But okay. Let me see the background of this game like I mentioned before. I wanted to make sure I got this information correct, so. By phase is a 2D platform jumping game with exploration and puzzle as its core. In the game, the player plays a role who has bipolar disorder. So it's like we have, yeah, but, oh my god. <laughs> it's like the character has two different personalities and two, the two personalities have to work together. Just like in my video inside where that was actually the, the yeah, the sit, oh my god. That was actually the case for one of the stages. Which you could go check out, link in the description down below. And trying to discover and break through the self with the extra red and black world. I mean, it's actually interesting how, you know, it's about someone with bipolar disorder, which is a really shaky disease because it can affect people somehow positively or most likely negatively from what I know. And for the message from the creators, it says, we hope that the game can show the play of some bipolar patients in a realistic and in-depth way by depicting an individual in a group, in addition to popularizing the phenomenon related to the disease. God, I'm speaking too much. <laughs> well, speaking too fast. Too fast. We are trying to trigger the public's empathy through the individual narrative and calling the public to adopt a more understanding and tolerant attitude towards the patients with the bipolar disorder. Abstract narration. Narration. Um, the na the narration part of this game was based on real cases around the flare, mainly about the main character with bipolar disorder who explores the abstract world of red and black mental images to find and exit puzzle levels. The level process is a metaphor for the condition of bipolar disorder. The main components of the scene, red and black, fade into the background of the same color, just as people wrapped into extreme emotions often fall to perceive the whole picture. The red and black worlds, the game refer to the manic and depressive mood pulls of the bipolar disorder, and the characters are in a world divided by two levels of emotions. So I guess saying black, you know, depression, red, manic, it is kind of sad though. Okay, so there is actually an international website for, uh, inter for bipolar disorder. It's called International Bipolar Foundation, IBPF.org. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Since, you know, you can't really control if you're bipolar or not, kind of, because it's like, from what I know, I might be wrong, but it's like a genetic thing, really, just, you know, you can't exactly just grab onto bipo bi bipolar disorder like that, you know, some people just might have two sides to them, some people have one side to them, it just all depends on the person, really, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for some more biophase. I actually like playing this game. It was very creative, artistic. Let you get an inside look at people with bipolar disorder. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, the part two. Goodbye.